Hi, this is Vinod Suman. Today I am going to talk on the CPU simulator, how to take the input from the keyboard and how to show your result on the uh, your screen. So I hope you must have some little bit knowledge of the CPU simulator. So let me explain in short. This is the integrated uh, software where the user can give the input. Whatever you have studied in the computer organization or the operating system, those kind of things you can see in this simulator. They have the set of registry. They have the how to put the single or multiple pipe value, how to interrupt the code, how to take the input output, those kind of things you can see. You can debug your code. So whatever the you study in the assembly language, you can do that kind of coding here to understand the registry concept and the computer organization concepts. So let me start the um, we'll move to the next. Yeah. So this is the uh, CPU simulator. So here you can see the uh, uh, panel where you can write the code. Um, and this is the where you can load the program, load button is there. And this is the uh, pipe planning, where the dual pipe planning or single pipe planning code is there. Here is the program control CPU view. So if you want to execute the code, here is the run button. If you want to go execute the code stepwise, you can use the stepwise. Here the reset program, and here is the set of the registry. So you can see the what are the value is being changing in the CPU registry. You can see that. So and when you click into the here input output, the my mouse is here. So we get this kind of screen. So this is the console for input and output. So here, if you see uh, my mouse is here three written there. This is the box whether you can put anything input give input anything, and if you want to give input from your keyboard you can give it otherwise if you click on the show keyboard if you show the keyboard where you can give input. output area where you can see the output so before going into the cpu simulator uh, let me explain the little bit code how it works so it's compared to the another language like the c c plus plus or java or even the assembly language uh, whether if you want to give any input instruction like this can have or in uh, one edge. So they will wait for the user input. So they will keep waiting. But this is not the case in the CPU simulator. So you have to program, you have to write the program in such a way that your code should wait for the user input. Before that, uh, we have the two commands. One is the input command. Input command will take the input from keyboard. And this is the device uh, from which device you want to take the input. So for the keyboard, I have given a zero. And for the output, you have to use the out command. And uh, this is the uh, uh, monitor. So the monitor device, I have given a zero one. So if in the case of the, if you understand the keyboard input code, so you put the in zero is from keyboard and which registry you want to store those values. So this is the registry. I have taken the registry R2. So whatever you will take the input, if you go to the R2. Now, uh, in the so what I have done here, I I take the input into R. The moment if you write the in, it will immediately execute the next instruction. So I am comparing with the R two value with the any. If only the space is there, that means user has not submitted any input. So I will again send back to the same code. If you see, I have given the jump for instruction here. And the input waiting. So again, it will go the input waiting here. So if I not enter anything, it will go keep looping here. Keep looping. Unless you will not input anything. The moment you give the input, this condition is not satisfied, it will jump into here. So what I will do, I will do some operation. So for the time being, assume I am doing something. So this is the how we have to take the input. Got it. So now this is the way. Second thing, how to take the output. So uh, if you if you want to show some value, suppose in the registry R3, if you have the registry R3 5, if you want to show the 5, so <clears throat> it will not, then you put that data into the R3, then you do the out, out R3 and 0, 1. 0 is the monitor and what are the value in the R3 it will show. But it will not show the 5, it will show the ASCII of the 5, ASCII code of the 5. So if you want to see the 5, then you have to subtract 48. So what is the ASCII of the 5? Suppose 53 minus the 48. And 
if you want to show the some uh, string message suppose if you want to see integer data something or if you want to uh, show the abcd so this is the command you have to put that uh, uh, each alphabet ascii into the some uh, registry and then it will show so i have taken here i have uh, output is the sum so this is the ascii for s this is the p5 ascii is the u this is the ascii for the m so i have taken the three and 10 is the integer key i want one integer key i am uh, and uh, this is the way and 58 i have giving one colon so this is the way to output some strings so this is the fourth part and i was saying the ascii so here if you see for the s I have given the 83, right? U 85. For the back, so this is 83, 85. So, and uh, full code I will explain later. Let me jump into the um, CPU simulator. So, this is my CPU simulator. And uh, right now it is empty. Let me insert some code. So, I am taking add to number. You can see the moment I uh, wrote the code, uh, the code came here. Here the code. So the same thing what I explained in the in the, my previous slide. I take the uh, I have taken the two in the R one because I want to take the two input to add the two numbers. So I have taken the. So now here I have taken the zero into the R two. Just initialize the R two with the zero and initialize the R three also zero. Then I did the new entry, this is the label, and I am calling the input text. Input text, I have given the input, uh, the input. So I am calling this subroutine input text. So if you see in the bottom, I have, uh, I have written the input text. So here it is all the ASCII code what I explain you. E N T E R I N P U T or the ASCII code and I have given the out 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 command so it will execute. I will show you. And what I have done here, so I'm taking the input, uh, I'm taking the input to the R2 and compare if it is not given input anything, it will go again into the uh, same loop. The moment you give, it will add into the R3. So R3 is going to I have initialized the R1, R2 into 0. So R3 I will get the user input and R3 is the 0. Again, what I will do again, I put the move 0 to R2. Again, I initialize the R2 because add instruction, as you can see, when you add the um, uh, add R2, R3, wizard will store into the R3. So, suppose user has given the 5, now R3 is the 5. Again, I initialize the R2 0 and again uh, I compare. R1 I have given the counter, I need the two value. If you again jump into the new entry, it will go the new entry and it will take the two input. Let me show the uh, how it works. So do one thing in the CPU simulator, you should do uh, two, three things uh, for the, uh, before you execute the code. Reset all the registry, so whatever the registry value is there, it will reset. Reset the program and the reset all the registry value also. And here is the button input output. Click on that. So it is empty. Here. Yeah. Now I am going to run the command. So when I run the command, now you can see is now I open the keyboard. I want to put the three. The moment I put the three, again next instruction it is asking. I want to give the Add the three to the sum. In the way you can see also how the value is going into the R1, R2, R3 or the value. Right? So this is the way how you can take the input from the key and add the two number. I will explain the code later. So we clear it, close it. Let me show the how to take the two input in together. If you have the suppose if you want to take the two input together. So how you do that? So I will remove this code. I add the new code. And wait again. I have to reset the program. Reset all the registry. Just for safer side. 
is so the inter input i am giving the suppose 2 i have written the code so it will take the output the two number i am not given the two second digit yet you can see the here how the instruction is moving is still waiting is still waiting so the moment i will give the second digit it will come out from this loop okay so it will give the seven you see when i it will come out from that loop so this is the way how to take the input and show the output in the cpu simulator let me show the code again so it will be good for you so what i have done two number code two number add so i put the two because i need the two number input then g i initialize the r1 r2 and r3 with the zero then make one new entry uh then i call the input text for the inter input so it jump into here input text. so the input 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 if you come here this is the variable input waiting i am taking the input from the keyboard in register 2 Comparing register two, if it is still zero, means in space, not nothing has entered. Again, I am sending back to the input unit. This is the main magic here. How you take the input from the keyboard. Once you get the input, whatever you want to do, you can do. This is the way you can use this code as it is to understand how to take the input and output. So I have shown the demo, and uh, if you have any questions, you can uh, put into the comment. And uh, now, thank you very much. and uh, hope it might be very useful for you thank you